In recent years, we've seen an increasing number of pro athletes switching to a plant-based diet. When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. When I went plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was gonna survive and I actually became like a machine. In this video, I'll explore why that might be using research done on plant-based athletes as well as on plant-based diets and plant-based foods to argue my points. Plus, of course, all the footage and research I did is linked in the description below if you wanna check it out later. Reason number one is improved endurance performance. I would argue that the biggest reasons why some athletes would choose to go on a plant-based diet is the expected improved endurance. Because plant-based foods are known to have vasodilatory properties, which basically means they can improve blood flow as well as reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. This could lead to improved performance, reduced muscle damage, as well as a speedier recovery. I was recovering better, not getting as sore. This was our best season in the last 15 years, and we had 14 guys on plant-based diets. To illustrate this a little better, just look at how much of an effect one and a half cups of blueberries have before a run on oxidative stress, which is by the way caused by exercise. Whereas having meat after training could make things worse in terms of oxidative stress and inflammation response in the body. But if you can't have meat after training, where do you get your protein? So where do I get my protein? Well, I get my protein in the same place these poor, starving, malnourished guys get their protein. I get my protein in the same place. All of these guys get it. Some of the fiercest, strongest animals on the planet are herbivores. For some reason, nobody asks them where they get their protein. <laughs> I get it where they get it. Just lower on the food chain. Grains and beans, greens, legumes, nuts and seeds. The funny thing is, my whole life, I was taught beef is what's for dinner. Milk does a body good. And here I was feeling better and performing better. And as long as I could remember, without the very foods I've been told my whole life are essential to be healthy. Now reason number two could be reduced inflammation and improved immune status. Overall, whole food plant-based diets have shown to reduce inflammation markers, which is very important for athletes because through exercise, we get inflammation in our body. And depending how quickly your body can combat the inflammation, the faster you will recover. Also, a strong immune system is critical, especially for endurance athletes, as they are at higher risk to come down with their upper respiratory infection after a long run or a long cycle. Knowing that plant-based diets can also improve immune status might be a good convincing point for endurance athletes to switch to a vegan diet, because they can spend less time with illness and more time in training. And reason number three is increased nitrates. Nitrates, like you can find in beets, for example, are known to have performance-boosting effects. And studies have shown that vegetarians have around 20% and vegans have around 40% more nitrates in their blood compared to omnivorous diets. This is very likely due to the higher consumption of nitrate-rich foods, such as beets, spinach, and other greens. Most guys my age can keep up with the grandchildren. My grandchildren can keep up with me. And reason number four are long-term health benefits. Diseases and deaths related to nutrition have claimed more lives than in all the world wars combined. And when you look at the statistics, it's really uh, quite astonishing. Right now, 70% of Americans are obese or overweight. Cancer claiming millions worldwide. Heart disease remains America's number one killer. One out of every three people will die of a heart attack. One out of every three. And they're predicting that by 2030, 50% of Americans are gonna be diabetic or pre-diabetic. Just like meditate on that for a minute. Plant-based diets, and especially whole food plant-based diets, have numerous health benefits. Some of the benefits include a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and cancer. For athletes, of course, that means better long-term health, which is crucial to sustain peak performance. And number five, reduced risk of heart damage. To be fair, this one shocked and surprised me as well, because studies have shown that endurance athletes have a higher risk of atherosclerosis, as well as muscle heart damage, compared to sedentary individuals. I think the shocking thing here is because people assume, even though they might not have the healthiest diet, because they exercise, they can kind of out-exercise the negative effects of diet, which these studies have shown is not really the case. Researchers say the reason why these endurance athletes have a high risk of atherosclerosis and heart muscle damage is likely due to the high consumption of saturated fat as well as cholesterol. But luckily we know that plant-based diets, and especially whole food plant-based diets that are low in fat, have not only shown to prevent heart disease, but also to, to reverse existing heart disease. So if you're an athlete, it might be time to switch from your 
animal-based proteins to protective plant-based proteins. One of the biggest misconceptions in sports nutrition is that we have to have animal protein to perform at a high level. That's just not true. Sometimes you have to do things that you know your competitors aren't doing. But it's very weird because once you cross the line, once you go over that hill, and you go, it's, it's, I can't imagine going back. Like there's things that I see my friends eating, and I used to eat it. And I'm like, I feel sick to think what you're putting in your body. But it's because now I've read about it and I understand it. I understand it. I've, I've read some of the science that's been, and I'm like, eh. Now, if you learned something new in this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I share healthy recipes as well as nutritional insights, and I would be happy to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and keep it plant based. See ya. Bye. Seven hours driving on the highway.